you know, doesn't naturally have fiber in it. So that is tracking net carbs. That's a feeling. channel everyone thank you so much for clicking on this video it is Saturday September 3rd so it's show day for a ton of my friends I'm gonna be heading to San Diego so I will got up showered off really quickly you guys saw that I used the glow pro tans the 10% DHA last night and then I used the tan extending lotion which is 6% DHA I used that this morning so I have a nice kind of bronze glow and then I decided to wear long sleeves and pants so that was probably all <laughs> useless but I feel better and that's the point right so I'm packing up my bag right now. It's just, I'm just staying overnight. So I'll stay tonight and then I'll drive back in the morning. But I'm gonna show you guys what I'm bringing. So I have my Opalite backpack and it's nice cause it has um, a ton of room. Like I'll show you guys in a second, but there's a ton of room in there. <laughs> so it fits everything. I'm bringing a uh, Black Lulu's, Black Lulu's Opalite tank top and Opalite. This is like their lifestyle tea, so I can have a choice between those tomorrow morning. And then I may bring this one just to shoot with Javon, possibly. I'm bringing my makeup bag, which also has my toothbrush and my makeup remover. So that's all I'll need for the morning. Oh, and I'm going to pack this. So you guys saw this in the... I did like an unboxing thing. This was in one of the subscription boxes that I got. Um, that I have actually used every single day since I opened it and started using it. I literally use this every day and I don't even know what brand this is. OC. I don't know if that's a good brand or not, but it's lightweight daily moisturizer and basically it's awesome. It's high quality stuff, I think, because I absolutely love it. Like as soon as I run out, now I'm going to have to go buy this. So thanks to the subscription box, I now have a new staple in my little daily routine. So yeah, I'm going to be bringing that. And then this is the men's hoodie for Alphalete, and it's amazing. It's like so thick, such high quality, and it's really, really nice looking. Like I can wear this, and this is a men's small. I can wear this, and it actually looks good on me. It doesn't look like I'm wearing men's clothing, so I'm pretty excited. Maybe it's just because I'm swole, right, guys? JK. And then I got this Ravish Sands bikini in the mail, which I'm really excited about. And I'm not going to bring this. This just happens to be sitting here. But this is for Vegas. So let me show you guys. These are limited editions, so they only have limited fabric in this one. But this is the top. And then the bottom is pretty freaking cute. Look at that. So that is one of my Vegas bikinis that I will have. I'm really excited about that. I should have another Ravish Sands package coming soon, actually. And then I'm bringing my uh, show day hoodie for Amanda. She asked me to bring one, my phone charger, and then I'll also bring my laptop and all of my editing stuff so I can edit tonight when I go to bed. But that is my little overnight bag, I guess. I'm about to pack some food, so I'll have food with me for the next 24 hours or so, and I will let you guys know what I end up bringing for food. Okay guys, a little slight 
change in plans. Um, end of the story is Spirit sucks. So, um, yeah, Spirit John's sucks. Spirit sucks. Uh, Charlie's here. Say hi to Charlie, everyone. Sip it on a protein shake. Spirit sucks. <laughs> We all agree, spirit sex, and we're sorry, Javon. He got delayed, so uh, Charlie was actually about to land in LA, and Javon was still in Houston waiting for his flight to go to leave. So right now I'm mixing up a protein shake. I'm just having the chocolate mint cookie Formula One with some cashew milk, absolutely delicious. It's like a thin mint. And then I'm packing my food. I'm not bringing much because we're gonna have some fun treats tonight. And then I'm driving back in the morning. So I'm actually just bringing a pound of chicken. I'm just gonna eat from this. And then I'm also bringing Bliss so that I can have some focused energy. I'm bringing glucose disposal agent. So this will properly uh, distribute all of the glucose and carbs that I'm gonna eat tonight. And then this is the M Factor Goddess, my multivitamin I'm gonna take with me. Also bringing my trimmer bottle as always with my BCAs and chomping on some popcorn. That's it. But I'm all excited. Why are you so big? You being a snoop? Why are you snooping on his bag? You smell his baby? <laughs> he's like, she smells pretty. Mm -hmm. Look at him, he's just like guarding your bag. I'll just chill right here. <laughs> All right, so we got a rental car, made a pit stop at Chipotle. I got barbacoa with some lettuce, a little tiny bit of cheese, some white rice, and pinto beans. I'm trying to show you guys. Oh, you guys shake it up. It's genius. That's, I always do it with my salads, and I never think to do it for Chipotle. You obviously don't watch my YouTube videos or my Snapchat, so Oops. I always say that. That's get it too. Oh, I never knew that. Yeah. Everyone say hi to Javon. Spirit sucks. <laughs> All right, time to eat. That you know, if you can keep the body guessing, it sounds you know, keep the metabolism moving and not just in a, in a steady state. At least we hope, and hopefully that research does come out sooner than later. So Hey Emily, so my question for you is, I'm in medical school and the stress is taking a huge toll on my body, what would help with that? So I know that when I was in school, I went to school, I also worked full time, multiple jobs. My stress reliever was going in the gym, even if it meant just like a 30 minute getting in there, getting endorphins going, it always made me feel so much better. And it was the one thing that I always looked forward to, no matter how much studying or work or whatever I had going on. So. You know, even if that's 30 minutes of cardio or 30 minutes of weightlifting, whatever it has to be, just be active because getting those endorphins going, it'll release those hormones that'll make you feel better. So try that and see if it helps. Hey, Emily. Just wondering how you and Brandon met. I've always been curious. Hey, Emily. Just curious, how did you meet Brandon? Is it still on? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Brandon and I actually met while I was still in college. He was at a pool party, and I thought he was really hot, so I tried to push him in the pool, and that was our first interaction. <laughs> <laughs> the end. <laughs> Amber F underscore 2020, she asks, describe how re a reality TV show would be with you three on it. And I'm gonna give this question to Jay Vaughn. I think that if we had a reality TV show. Huh. This is a hard question, by the way. I tried to spend like 10 to 30 seconds thinking about this. Um, I think that our reality TV show would be either about a white mom and her two African babies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> or we could maybe go with. No, we'd probably just go with that. Or we could have like a cupcake show. I feel like we'd have fun making cupcakes. I think we would eat well together. Right? Yeah, like a, like a eating, like something, something, in, like something a, enjoying food. A cooking and traveling show, like a traveling. Cooking yes. and traveling. Like traveling around the world and trying different food. Yes. Dang. Javon, Javon would be on video, and then me and Emily would be trying it. You'd be trying it too. <laughs> okay. What do you think, Em? Oh, I completely agree. It'd be maybe a dessert-specific travel mm. channel. Mm. I would tie it. So we're exiting the white mom and African baby. Yes. <laughs> it's gonna have to go. Didn't make the cut. Didn't Alrighty make it past then. the pilot. <laughs> Alright, so Marie Wald Fitness. She asks, if you had to either wear only jeans or only real bras for the rest of your life, which would you pick? I would wear 
and I can't believe I'm gonna say this, I would wear only jeans because I would just cheat and get jeggings or stretchy jeans so that I could always wear sports bras the rest of my life. Clever. What would you choose, Shelly? Probably go with uh, real bras. <laughs> Cause I got some double D's on me. <laughs> but um God, what about really you? Does, what about guys. You? Look at these things. <laughs> <laughs> can anyone guess where we are? I bet you can guess. Think real hard. Where would I go? Where would I go? Sugar free mocha, one splenda, iced coffee. What'd you get, Javon? Um Damn, that's good. Berry hibiscus. <laughs> I don't know what the R stands for. Berry hibiscus something. Refresher. Refresher. We got yeah. you. So good. What did you get? I have the same thing as you. Um, sugar free mocha. <laughs> it's like that's all I remember. Apparently it's very rare. So it is. And we got it for me, so I'm happy. It's it's like it's like a rare Pokemon for all of you Pokemon uh, players. <laughs> you gotta find it. You gotta catch them all. Aww. I feel like this is the never ending road trip, so if we end up making it, then I will be glad to see you. I'm joking. We're gonna make it and I'll see you soon. I feel like this is the never ending road trip. Charlie, update. We freaking made it. After six hours of staying in this Jeep, <laughs> we finally made it. And I'm so happy. Granted, it's a very nice Jeep. I actually very like nice. it a lot, guys. They say that I would look good in it. Back to explaining taco meat. What is, Javon, what is your advice for people to meet other people in the fitness industry if they can't go to fitness expos, if they can't afford to? Social media. Yep. I feel like so many people have already met, like, I, especially if, especially if you're a girl, I feel like the girls are all so, like, open to, like, one another and so open to, like, you know, DMing and all that type of stuff, like, if your girl's connecting with girls, that's like, for sure. I think guys maybe might take it wrongly, weirdly sometimes. Careful. Uh, Thanks. But, yeah, if you're a girl, for sure. Just get out there, you know, DM people, message them, say your outfit's cute, girl, all that type of stuff, and yeah, we make connections. Don't be afraid to reach out and give someone else a compliment, reach out, give them your info, and just, you know, go from there. All the way from the car? It's eating too much bread bad for you because no I eat like four okay, slices a day, and I love bread. I, I kind of need some too, but I don't want to walk out of the Should you eat get it? more protein Listen. than carbs, or carbs and protein, or does it even matter? Okay, so she was asking, are, is bread bad for you? Because she eats about four slices a day, and that she loves bread. I love bread too, and I will just account for the bread into my macros, so it's fine. If you don't count macros, you can totally have bread. If you're worried that you're eating too much, maybe, you know, take it down to three slices a day, you're going to be fine. Now, as far as the ratio from proteins and carbs, I always say moderate carbs, higher protein is going to be better, so you can maintain your lean muscle mass and still reach your goals. Uh, Josh, for Josh? show. Javon, good to meet you. What's up? Congratulations, nice to meet you, by the way. Under Thank you so much. What's your name? Josh? Josh. Cool. Yeah, actually. So, apologies to everyone. How do you feel about yourself? <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to say? Sorry. Um, I'm just glad to be here and I'm grateful that they didn't kick me out. <laughs> Video? <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> Say hi to my YouTube. Hello, YouTubers. So this is my friend Jessica. We met at USA officially, yeah. And she actually is one of the very. She was the very first person that I hugged after oh I won my gosh. card. Oh my gosh. And it's real. And that's the first thing she said. She said, "Oh my God, did, is this really happening? Is this real? Did this just happen?" And I said, I looked at her trophy and I said, "Maybe you got second. <laughs> I got second last year." It's real. <laughs> and look at her now. Oh man, I wish I had that on camera. <laughs> I know. But you know what? It's those moments. Um, when I'm looking at the wrong thing. It's okay. It's those moments that you just, <laughs> you keep up here. I'll never, ever, ever forget that. I'll never forget our hug. <laughs> Good hug. Okay, now we get a selfie. We'll be our right okay. <laughs>
guys, so the night show is over. It was so much fun seeing everyone compete. Sorry about this awful car lighting, but I am starving and we're about to go to dinner. So instead of going into dinner starving, because we're gonna have lots of delicious things, I brought with me Icon Meals chicken. So the boys, Charlie and Javon, are checking into their hotel right now, and I'm waiting in the car while they do that. Let's hope I don't spill this. So I'm just gonna chomp on some chicken and have the car light on, and it's dark out, so everyone's gonna watch me. Mm, this guy does not look happy that I'm sitting here. I'm not stuffing my face or hurting myself, sir. Promise. So I had three bites of donuts. I tried the mud pie, the Nutella, and then the cake sprinkled donut. The only one that was worth it was the cake sprinkled donut, which it's just hands down the best donut. So now we're going to Slater's 50-50 where they have peanut butter and jelly burgers. I may get something better for myself. Not better, sorry, I don't mean better. I just mean something possibly nutrient dense. I don't know, I might not. We'll see. I'll let you guys know what I end up doing, but um, I don't mind like taking a bite of other people's, but I don't need to like eat all of that for myself. So I'm gonna try and fill up on some chicken so I'm not too hungry, and then we're gonna just have a lot of fun and see where the night takes us. We're in the gas lamp district, which is a lot of fun. So I will see you guys at dinner. Sir, I must know the story behind him. I found him. <laughs> Amazing. Right here, sir. I want to serve with our house-made pumpkin spice sauce. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, guys, so I ordered an order of sweet potato fries that I'm splitting with Stacy. She was nice enough to share with me. And then I also got a lettuce wrapped Durham beef burger or something. It's supposed to be a layer cut of beef. Is it that good? He's been holding his breath. Please, no. Take a what french fry the pumpkin sauce. with the sauce. Really? You okay, are so the about sauce is pumpkin sauce. Three. Let's get that. That's really. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Emily, are you eating this? It's yes. so good. It's so good. Yes. Let's eat that. Yes. Yes. Pumpkin. Oh, sweet potato fries with a pumpkin sauce. Are you crying? No! <laughs> She's crying. That's like a pumpkin pie dip, yeah. It's so beautiful! Alex, what did you get? It's so beautiful. A made my own burger, filled my own burger with sweet potato fries and egg and guacamole and bison, and I'm gonna destroy it. And please tell them what happened. <laughs> why, why are there fries yeah. on your burger? Because I named it the put some MF in sweet potato fries on that burger and they actually physically put <laughs> sweet potato fries on that burger so it's nice it goes along with my side of sweet potato fries. That's amazing. Good morning YouTube so it is Sunday morning September 4th last night was so much fun we all went to dinner we went to Slater's 50-50 I got a lean ground beef burger with lettuce avocado M mushrooms, jalapenos, pickles. I don't know. It was absolutely delicious. And I just got it lettuce wrapped because I didn't want to have all the carbs from the bun because I knew I was getting sweet potato fries. So I shared sweet potato fries, which was like a huge order with this pumpkin dip something or another. I don't know. It was absolutely amazing. I had a great time celebrating with everyone. And then Karen, Amanda, and I, Sholly, and Javon, we all decided to go out. So we went to this place called the Omni. I think it was, oh, Aria. The Omni is the hotel? Omnia. Um, oh, Omnia. <laughs> Aria is in Vegas and the Omni was the hotel. Aria is in Vegas, Omni was the hotel, and it was called what? Omnia. Omnia. So we went to, thanks guys, they're in the background helping well, out. Congrats who watch YouTube were like, I'm disappointed in you, Emily. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> so we went out and it was a lot of fun. It was really funny though. There was one point we were all on the dance floor, like really trying really hard, and Karen goes, guys, we were all faking it so bad. So, I don't know, it's, I don't know. We still had fun though, it was fun to go out, fun to like do the thing, you know, and be out with our friends. And I actually got to meet a subscriber named Ivory. She was out on the dance floor and we were laughing about how like random it is to meet someone like in fitness on the dance floor. I don't know, we just thought it was funny. So Ivory, thanks for saying hi. It was really cool to meet you and talk to you for a second, even though it was really loud and we were getting bumped all over the place. <laughs> 
And then we took one of those little uh, bike trolley things, so the guys that like ride the bikes. I was like, man, he should really be wearing a polar <laughs> heart rate monitor and wrist strap because your steps and your cardio is probably insane. Uh, overall, it was just a fun night, and now we are just getting ready, packing up our things, and then I think we're going to go to a little barbecue, Kyler's mom's house for a little while. So if this video isn't too long already, I may answer one, one to three more questions, and then we'll just end the vlog there. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video, and I will see you for the last clip. Bye. Quick question I'm going to answer is from Beck Gray on Snapchat. She asked me to explain net carbs, and basically that's when people take the fiber out of, um, for example, like a Quest bar. Say that it has, you know, 15 grams of fiber and 20 grams of carbs. Those are not the right macros, just an example. People would take the 15 grams of fiber out of that and count it as five carbs. That would be the net carbs. So I personally track for everything, and I noticed that, for example, Quest bars bloat me so bad, and it's because of all of the extra, like, fiber stuff that's in there that is, like, way too much fiber to be in one little bar and I always like I'll have two bites and my stomach will be a balloon so I actually stay away from things that have an insane amount of fiber in something like a protein bar or something like that that's not like natural or you know doesn't naturally have fiber in it so that is tracking that carbs and then I came and picked up the boys. The running joke is that I'm mom. So we're getting their luggage right now and we're gonna head to Kyler's place. We're having a little family cookout barbecue. So I'm really excited for that. We'll see you guys at the barbecue. Oh, that you feel the same way too. Promise to never fall. You're gonna get copyright. <laughs> I'm not trying to be rude. Hey, pretty girl, I'm telling you. Give me that. Two, two. And let me get that. Now she rolled. Once I get you out the clothes. Oh, it's a shake it off. 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 I'm lighting on my feet. Ultimate jam session commencing. About to go down. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Walk inside. Walk inside. Faces passing. I'm home. is from Jana Babe and it's for Javon. She wants to know, Javon, do you ever plan on having a YouTubers retreat in Canada in the future? You take it. That's a good question. And the answer is yes, easily. What? So right now, I'm really working on a YouTubers retreat in New York, which should be Halloween weekend. I'm hoping to start ticket sales probably October 1st. I'm expecting and projecting them to sell out pretty quick. Limited amount of tickets. We're probably only going to do about 100 to 150 tickets for the New York event. Only because all the venues that I saw in New York are all so small. If you want a nice venue, it's all small. If you want like a big venue, it most likely won't be very nice or be like, you know, like 80 to 100K for a single event. And there's no way because I can't charge you guys a ticket price that would compensate for that. So there's absolutely no way. So for like a nice venue, you know, high rise in the city in Soho in Manhattan, the cost that it takes. We can only probably do about 100 to 150 people. To answer your question, I'm sorry, I just went off on a tangent. New York, October, Toronto, Canada. That's what I'm thinking. Six, 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 six. For New Year's Eve. Ooh, yeah? Yeah. I'm down. Ooh, Are you guys down? Yeah. If you're from Canada and you would come to that, comment below and let me know. Because I would plan to be there if you guys are going to be there too. Pick up the six, phone, six, baby. Six, six, six. Wait, what? Hello. Hello. Is this is video and stuff. I know. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's okay. We've got lots of Santa Pellegrino. Yeah, I love Pellegrino. And limes. Okay. We've got to cut up some limes for you. Yeah, that'd be great. So beautiful.
don't really. There's so many trees. Wait, you gotta, you gotta let me know when you record it so I can flex. Your face is like beaming happiness right now. Yeah, this is beautiful. This you is, love it out here? I'm so happy. So you're never How is playing, it? You don't have a return flight kids. and you're not getting one. You want to have kids? <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe you should buy the house first. Yeah, my bad. This is so nice. Yeah. We actually run uh, my business together. So I do online training and YouTube and social media. And he helps me run everything. I also have my own app and we do our monthly challenge. Yeah, a lot of moving parts. So... It's so nice to have him uh, help me with all of that because he was in the supplement industry for a long time, uh -huh. always in the fitness industry, but he managed a store and thought about owning at one point, but the more that he got into that, the more he just realized he didn't, we don't like being apart. <laughs> we work much better together, so we get to, we spend all day every day together now, <laughs> Wow. Okay. which cool. is amazing. We wouldn't have it any other way. That's a blessing. It, it really is. Yeah. So now we live in Venice, in an amazing place, and we wake up every single day, like, I can't believe we live here. We just love it. It's perfect for us right now, what we want. So it's the goals right there, your home gym. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, sorry I'm late getting up this video, but thank you if you stuck around to watch the whole thing. I know it was lengthy. I had an amazing trip with all of my friends. Thank you to everyone that's in the video. Make sure to click the description box and see all of my friends that were in the video. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will be returning to the Relentless series in the next episode. Bye guys!